you, and there are some big stories beaming in from outer space today, including hints of possible life on a distant planet. An unusual find has dramatically increased the likelihood that we are not alone in the universe, with one Aussie expert calling it the biggest space discovery in the past decade, and it all has to do with the smell of seaweed. Welcome to Spaceverse, your cosmic hub for thrilling space exploration and discovery. And today I will be your guide through the wonders of the universe. At Spaceverse, we dive into captivating visuals, unravel mysteries of distant galaxies, and bring you the latest in space science. So whether you're a seasoned astronomer or a casual enthusiast, join our community for mind-bending concepts, in-depth explanations, and interactive discussions. Hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on an intergalactic adventure together. The James Webb Space Telescope, recognized as NASA's most potent space science telescope, has significantly broadened our understanding of the universe since its launch in December 2021. A groundbreaking discovery it has made is the identification of the exoplanet Webb in the LEO constellation. This prompts the question, have we finally uncovered signs of life beyond Earth? The James Webb Telescope, which is positioned around 1 million miles from Earth as an infrared observatory orbiting the Sun, plays a crucial role in detecting and analyzing exoplanets' atmospheres seeking indicators of life beyond our planet. The initial exoplanet pinpointed by the Webb telescope was LHS 475b, a rocky planet nearly Earth's size. However, this pales in comparison to the revelation of K218b, a Haitian exoplanet boasting a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a water-covered surface, which is essential components for sustaining life. The significance of the present discovery lies in the detection of carbon-bearing molecules in the atmosphere of a habitable zone planet. This unprecedented achievement is attributed to the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, marking a major technological milestone. The journey of discovering K218b began in 2016 with NASA's KEDA mission, detecting variations in light as the exoplanet passed in front of its host star. Subsequently, the Hubble Space Telescope contributed to understanding the characteristics of K218b's atmosphere. Initial suspicions of hydrogen and oceans on the surface were validated by a recent investigation using the James Webb Space Telescope, confirming the presence of carbon-bearing molecules like methane and carbon dioxide. Scientifically this discovery carries significant advancements, particularly in the quest for methane a molecule that has eluded detection for over a decade in low-temperature planets, a phenomenon known as the missing methane problem. The revelation of methane on K218b is noteworthy, given its location within the star's habitable zone. While the prospect of life on K218b is conceivable, NASA refrains from confirmation, citing the need for additional data and analysis before making any definitive statements. Nonetheless, the discovery of methane and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of K218b is an exhilarating revelation for the scientific community. Here's essential information about this potentially life-harboring exoplanet. K218b revolves around the cold dwarf star K218 and is situated approximately two light-years away from Earth in the LEO constellation. This exoplanet surpasses Earth in size, being 8.6 times larger with a radius 2.6 times that of our planet. Scientists are particularly intrigued by exoplanets within the size range of Earth and Neptune, as the nature of atmospheres in sub-Neptune planets remains a topic of active debate. Given the vast unknowns about these exoplanets and their atmospheres, these enigmatic celestial bodies prompt substantial speculation about the prospect of life. Before delving into why K218b has sparked excitement among astronomers, let's consider the essential factors supporting the theory of life on an exoplanet. For a planet to potentially harbor life, its orbit must fall within the habitable zone, indicating the planet's surface must maintain an optimal temperature for liquid water to exist, an essential requirement for the survival of life forms on Earth. In the search for planets capable of sustaining familiar life forms, proximity to the host star is crucial. An exoplanet that is either too close or too distant from its host star would not be conducive to life as we know it. Another vital condition is the presence of oxygen in the exoplanet's atmosphere, serving as an indicator of potential living organisms. The search for an ideal exoplanet extends to finding a suitable host star, ensuring it is not overly active, 
which could otherwise lead to the planet losing its atmosphere due to the star's intense activity. While ultraviolet radiation is necessary for certain prebiotic molecules, an excess of it can obliterate any signs of life. In the case of K218b, it occupies the habitable zone referred to as the sweet spot at a safe distance from its host star. Scientists posit that the temperature in this zone is conducive to supporting life forms. Furthermore, the substantial presence of methane and carbon dioxide, coupled with the absence of ammonia in its atmosphere, suggests the potential existence of water oceans beneath its hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Secondly, the presence of methane and our identification of carbon dioxide, coupled with the absence of other crucial molecules like ammonia or carbon monoxide in the atmospheric composition, strongly indicates the likelihood of an ocean beneath the surface. It is challenging to arrive at such a composition through alternative explanations. Consequently, this leads us to consider the possibility that this is a plausible hen world, essentially planets characterized by planet-wide oceans and hydrogen-rich atmospheres, providing conditions on the surface conducive to supporting life similar to what we observe on Earth. However, there's more to this story. Another noteworthy discovery by the James Webb Telescope is the identification of the molecule dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, in the atmosphere of K218b. DMS is a relatively understudied gas with a tangy almost sweet odor, which is believed by scientists to be a significant source of sulfur entering Earth's atmosphere. This gas plays a role in cloud development, blocking the sun's radiation, and reflecting it back into space. Its presence on K218b is groundbreaking because DMS is typically generated by various life forms on Earth, primarily emitted by phytoplankton in marine environments. Therefore, this additional finding adds to the evidence suggesting the potential for life on K218b. While these observations are intriguing, more data is needed. The detection of a tentative level of dimethyl sulfide raises questions. This molecule is exclusive to Earth's life, and its presence has been predicted to serve as a strong biosignature in exoplanets, particularly in habitable ones, including hen worlds. NASA has issued a statement emphasizing the need for further study and validation of the inference of DMS. They express hope that future web observations will provide more clarity on whether this molecule is present in significant amounts in the exoplanet's atmosphere. Now that we've contemplated the possibility of existing life on K218b, it's essential to critically assess these claims with factual information. Despite K218b residing in the habitable zone of its host star and containing carbon-bearing molecules in its atmosphere, it does not automatically guarantee the exoplanet's ability to support life. Additionally, the exoplanet's considerable size suggests that its interior may house a substantial mantle of high-pressure ice resembling Neptune. The key difference lies in K218b having a thin hydrogen-rich atmosphere with a surface covered by an ocean. Yet the suitability of the ocean's water temperature for sustaining life remains uncertain. It could be excessively hot, rendering it uninhabitable, or it might not even be in liquid form. An issue of significance in the examination of exoplanets like K218b is the considerable size of its parent star, which outshines the smaller planets. The intense brightness from the larger parent star poses a challenge for scientists trying to discern the gases and physical conditions of the planets within its orbit. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has proven instrumental in overcoming this obstacle. Thanks to its extended wavelength range and exceptional sensitivity, scientists successfully navigated this difficulty by scrutinizing the light emitted from K218b parent star as it traversed the exoplanet's atmosphere. This approach is a primary method employed by the James Webb Telescope to study transiting exoplanets like K218b. The telescope observes dips in the light emitted by a star when its associated planet moves across the line of sight, a phenomenon termed a transit. Simultaneously, ground-based telescopes aid in determining the mass of planets using radial velocity techniques, while the Webb telescope conducts spectroscopy to analyze the exoplanet's atmosphere. Additionally, the infrared telescope is equipped with coronagraphs that enable the direct imaging of exoplanets near bright stars. Contrary to expectations, the image of an exoplanet appears as a spot rather than the anticipated exotic panorama. Nevertheless, this spot provides scientists with the necessary information to examine the exoplanet's characteristics, including color, vegetation, rotation, and weather seasons. Spectroscopy, the study of spectra produced when material interacts with or emits light, 
is the key to this capability. A spectrograph dissects the light from a material into its component colors, similar to how a prism breaks white light into a rainbow. This process aids scientists in identifying the substances interacting with the light source and divulges essential details about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. The JWST has significantly elevated the practice of spectroscopy, and the insights gained about K218b are derived from data collected in just a transits. To underscore the brilliance of the Webb telescope, the results from one transit observation are equivalent to eight observations conducted by the Hubble telescope over several years and within a narrow wavelength range. The potential implications of such information gathering from the JWST in just two transits suggest promising prospects for the future. This likely serves as an early indication of the telescope's capabilities in observing habitable zone exoplanets. Only time will confirm whether life exists on K218b, and if so, whether humans can consider it a viable alternative to Earth. As we conclude our cosmic journey today, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for joining us on Spaceverse. We hope you've enjoyed this interstellar adventure as much as we have. Remember, the cosmos is a boundless realm of fascination, and there's always more to explore. Don't forget to like this video if you found it enlightening. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our future space odysseys. Keep looking up at the stars, keep questioning, and keep exploring the infinite wonders of the universe. See you!